Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Scorpios, thank you so much for joining me today. I will be doing your February 2024 reading where I will be covering career, money, and love. So we will be also be touching things like what is it that you need to know and the most possible outcome. So let's get started, Scorpio. I hope you're all doing super amazing. I will be pulling out one card first with the Light Seers, and I'll do the rest of the reading with the Tarot of Owls. If you do wish to purchase your own deck, that's down below in the description box. If you also want to learn Tarot and how to master to read for yourself or for others, please do visit fifikinjutarot.com as we do have a master tarot course that is self-paced. It's online, and you can also work through our workbooks and download all the videos. Excellent. So let's get started, Scorpio. Let's pick one card with your, what's the big energy for February, please? One card, please. So we do have the world. Major Arcana. This is fantastic, Scorpio. I love seeing the world. It's one of my favorite, actually. The world means coming full circle. So what does that mean? It means that you've gone through all the major arcanas, you've gone through the fool, judgment, death, the tower, the lovers, you've done it all and you've come full circle. When you come full circle, it also means you've gained a lot of experience, knowledge, wisdom. You're not the same person as you were before compared to now. So this also means that a brand new cycle is going to begin now. It's like you're going through all now, the, from the start of all the major arcanas, you're going to go through all of the process again, but differently this time. You know better now because you have experience. You've done a lot. And like I said before, you're not the same person now, which is fantastic. So in brand new cycle, I love this. So with brand new cycle, it also means you're leaving some things behind. It could be beliefs, people, situations. You're leaving something behind in order to start something brand new in your life. The world is also a travel card. You may also travel this year. Let's have a look. Maybe the cards will tell us exactly where exactly you're going. So let's have a look at career first, please. So what is the current situation? We do have the Page of Wands. This is all about messages. Especially with Korea, so I'm going to be talking about Korea. Messages about Korea. These are messages that, you know, the ball is rolling now. Things are happening. It's like finally exciting. You're finally getting a response. And again, notice that the owl is holding onto a salamander lizard. It's like you can walk, literally walk through fire. You can do literally anything, Scorpio. Nothing can stop you. So yes, things are starting to move now. There's progress now. There's messages. People are getting back to you. But it's something to do with your career or something that you're trying to pursue or trying to get into. This is excellent. If we now move on to well, what else, what is it that you need to know, Scorpio? What is it that you need to know? Okay, so you, you have come out, Scorpio, as the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups here. So... What is it that you need to know? It's good to have strong boundaries. Why do I say that? If we look at the cup, it's covered with fishes here. So it's like it's covered here. So in other words, Scorpio, you don't just tell people your ideas. No, if anything, you, you're very, uh, like you, you don't just tell everybody your intentions because you have a feeling that there's something that you want to work towards, but you don't want to announce it just yet. You want to say it until it's happened. So it's, a, it's, it's about having strong boundaries. I would actually say, Scorpio, it's not a bad idea to keep your mouth closed during this. But just remember, with the Queen of Cups, this is someone that's very nurturing, very someone grounded to you. I'm going to say even it's like a motherly figure too. Because remember, like I'm going to say with the Queen of Cups, it's all about taking care of yourself. So do not forget, Scorpio, to look after your body, look after your mental health. Yes, I'm actually going to say this. Be a little bit selfish. Put yourself first because you are a priority. You need to look after yourself. And I'm sure you do anyway, but it's just a reminder to, you know, eat well, exercise, do not stress. 
but also have strong boundaries when it comes to your career. What do I mean by that? You may have, for example, the thing is, you've got to remember with career, when you start to make a bit of noise, people notice, people might get jealous, people may try to poke you or try to get a reaction from you. And that's why this cup is covered. Have strong boundaries. Don't announce everything just yet. Wait for things to happen first. If we look at the outcome, what do we have for the outcome? So we do have the high priestess. Interesting that I just mentioned not to say anything. Yeah. So the high priestess, we know it's all about mystery and secrecy. So something will come to light that you're going to find out about. So something will reveal itself. And remember, when we do see the high priestess, it's all about listening to your intuition. Also, the high priestess, when this shows up, it means that your the universe and your spirit team don't want to reveal a lot now. They want to keep it as a surprise. They want to keep things hush-hush at the moment for you because I feel like there's a surprise coming here. Because remember, the high priestess, she's in a sacred temple. It's all about the mystery, secrecy. But I do feel something is going to be exposed, something wonderful about your career. Get ready, Scorpio, again. This is good energy. And remember, you do have also the world. So something amazing is starting here at the moment. So if we look at money, let's have a look at money, the current situation. So we do have the six of wands. This is victory. Besides from all the setbacks you've had, the challenges, roadblocks, no, this is victory. So you're moving on now. You're, you're really looking after your money. You're celebrating here. However, though, however. It's still super important, though, to be disciplined and be very um, structured when it comes to money here. Because Six of Wands, remember, it does also mean that you've had challenges, you've had setbacks. Make sure you learn from the past. Make sure you implement them and you learn from it. If we look at what is it that you need to know, mm -hmm, okay. So we do have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is all about taking action. Then maybe, I feel like you may be reaching out to this person for help when it comes to money. Because the Queen of Wands, this is someone of a fire sign. So we're talking about Leo, uh, Aries, and Sagittarius. So I feel here, yep, yeah, you've had a couple of roadblocks, you've had a couple of bumps, but at the same time, I feel like you're trying to reach out to this person here. This could be a friend, this could be a parent, um, someone in your family that you want to reach out to perhaps in terms of help for money. Is this person going to help you though? Let's have a look. What's the outcome? Hmm, interesting. So we do have the five of pentacles. Yeah, this person unfortunately is not going to help you. In fact, the five of pentacles is the card of rejection here. It's the part, it's the card of no, this person's not going to help. But remember also. Five of Pentacles does show there could be a bit of money loss. So this is already giving you a heads up, Scorpio. This is giving you a heads up, a warning in the sense, hey, be careful. Make sure you, you check exactly where every penny is going. Everything. Make sure you budget, you forecast, you do everything you can. Because money is going somewhere, but it's, it's a, I'm seeing a loss here. I'm seeing also a rejection from this queen that's not helping you at the moment. And again, this queen could be, for example, a bank loan, for example, something that you need. And unfortunately, you're getting a rejection here. Let's look at love, though. If we look at love, the current situation, we have the queen of pentacles. Excellent. So we know the queen of pentacles represented by air sign. But in this moment, though, in terms of love, you're very cool, calm, and collected though. You're very grounded. You're not in the sense desperate to find someone, no, because you're being very, very realistic here, Scorpio. Yes, you definitely want to be with someone, but at the same time, I'm picking up the energy here that I'm in a good place right now. That's what's happening here with the Queen of Pentacles. You're in a good place at the moment. You're just very calm. You're just, you're not in the, you're not chasing love, if anything. So what is it that you need to know? Uh -huh. So we do have the seven of pentacles here. Seven of pentacles. There may be someone coming into your life, Scorpio. It could be someone that you probably would never, ever 
date or even consider, but before you say no, reconsider because this is the card of long term. Think long term. This person can be actually fantastic for you. This person can also can also be an air sign. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Right here. So this person could definitely can be a Virgo, uh, like an like an Earth sign. And this is kind of like you thinking, oh, should I consider this? I would definitely consider it because we have the branch here full of pentacles. So this person can actually give you a very, very strong foundation. In other words, the package. This person will be here today, tomorrow, and for the future. It's not, it's not like they're going to be here today, gone tomorrow. No, I would definitely give this person a chance. And what is the outcome? Oh, excellent. So we do have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely going to be in an excellent place here because this person is also going to respect your freedom, your independence. It's not like this person is going to be clingy or say, no, 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 don't do that. No, no, no. If anything, this person is really going to respect you as a person, as an individual here with the Nine of Pentacles. If anything, this person is holding you up like at a pedestal because this person really admires you. This person is thinking... This person's independent. They can make their own money. They're ambitious. They can see that you're definitely ambitious. And I feel like this person is also going to help you in terms of money. Like, I feel like this person is like going to open the door to say, this is my house. This is me. This is what I do. And definitely, I feel like both of you together can build something long term. Now, this person may also be business owner because they've been represented as a court card here as a queen of pentacles could be a business owner a nurturer may have family from a previous marriage perhaps that can that can definitely be not always but for love fantastic I, I feel like that's why you're so got this you're coming full circle and you're starting a brand new cycle here so definitely Scorpio I'm going to say this I'm just going to recap here for career, yeah, I would definitely be careful what you say to certain other people because it's telling you to have strong boundaries. Don't reveal everything because unfortunately people can get jealous sometimes. It's something part of, of the world. There will be something coming towards you, a secret, something is going to be exposed. Definitely use your intuition. Be careful how you handle your money here, definitely. I feel that you may be trying to reach out help from someone, it could be a family member, it could be someone uh, from an institution perhaps. But yeah, there may be some rejections. Just remember, when it, come with, when it comes with rejections, you're just talking to the wrong person. That's all it is. So definitely prioritize your money, make sure you budget, you save money, uh, and be very disciplined with love. Yes, I do see there's definitely someone. You may, may even think this person is not my type, but I would definitely give it a chance because I feel like this person can be absolutely amazing for you. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me. Have an amazing month and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.